It's just I. Hello. Welcome to the Glasgow Treatment Rooms again. I'm at work and I thought I would make a facial video for you today. Um, so hit pause, put on a strappy top or a low cut t-shirt, uh, take off any necklaces or dangly earrings that you're wearing and we can get stuck in together. Um, I've poured myself two bowls of uh, warm water and I've got all my products beside me here and I'll tell you what I'm using. Um, obviously being at work I'm in the city centre of town you're going to hear outside noises coming in and there's a bloke uh, who seems quite happy with himself in the back lane which is just outside my window giving a bit of hey do ha CDB I don't know what he's been hitting but he sounds very happy anyway so we'll just leave him to it but if you do hear any background noises that's what it is um, so my skin's feeling quite dry today, um, it's quite a damp kind of day outside as well but also yeah it's just feeling dry and being menopausal too I do feel that basically my skin craves anything that just feels like Philadelphia cheese. Um, so what we're going to do to start with is I've got I've got some Neil's Yard products here because I, I am a consultant for them. I'm not going to hide that. Uh, why would I? Uh, sustainable uh, products. What's not to like? Uh, one of my favourite cleansers is one called Calendula. That's it there. Um, so let's just kick off, shall we? Let's just get stuck in and I can talk to you whilst I'm speaking. So I'm just kind of using a, a size. It's about the size of a five pence piece. A little goes a long way with this. Um, oh, that smells divine. Mm. Um, that's the thing about when you spend or make an investment in products, you normally find that a little really does go a long way. So this Calendula cleanser is about 18 pounds. Um, other ends of the market are Another cleanser that I absolutely love is just by Superdrug's own brand, Vitamin E. Oh, it's lovely. Um, I think that's about a fiver. Again, actually, though, a little goes a long way. Um, and then there's another one called Oskia, and it's about £40 a tube, and that bad boy lasts me about six months when I buy one. But I just, I'm all about the smells at the moment and rituals and things that just smell good and just lift your spirits and this calendula one's definitely one for me so get into the corners of your nose and all sorts of stuff like that don't miss anything out so I think that's about that's about it for a cleanse and I've got a sponge in some uh, warm water here warm not hot oh sweep that all over I need to go and buy more sponges I should have two but I could only find one. So we'll just do that a bit more. This is so important, especially now that I wear a face covering for 70 hours a day. Um, so before and after cleansing, uh, when, I'm, when I'm working, um, and also your moisturiser and your facial oil can act as a bit of a barrier as well to protect your skin. So that's all, that's all good as well. So that is, a, I'm going to do a double cleanse. I love doing a double cleanse. Really important at the end of the day. So I'm going to take another blob. Yep, he's singing, he's happy. And we're just going to go for it again. So, and this time I would do this at the end of the day. Just don't miss out your neck. Get into all that down there. Da, da, da. Oh. oh, it just feels so lovely. Sometimes um, when I cycle to work, if I unfortunately end up behind a bus and get loads of fumes in my face, I, 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 I'm very lucky that I can actually come to work and, uh, and do all this, cleanse my face, because it can just make you feel, oh... <laughs> As if you've got a layer of exhaust fumes all over you so um, but that doesn't happen too often I do tend to stay very far behind uh, if there's a bus um, I'm also keeping clear of my eyebrows because I've just had them waxed and tinted don't want to affect Gail's hard work 
of doing that. Um, the laws just now are that you can't do anything for a client that involves them taking off their face covering. So if I've got my face covering on, my eyebrows are still obviously above that. So doing stuff to the eyebrows is fine. Thank goodness. Um, again, being menopausal, I have found that um, my features have started to fade a bit. Uh, so getting my eyebrows done kind of like kind of like like helps put them back on the map, so to speak. Um, is because as you can see, everything's going grey. Um, I used to have really thick, abundant eyelashes as well, and they need a bit more help too. Anyway, moving on. I've got a facial polish now. Now, what kind is this? Facial polish. It is orange again. Oh, it's lovely. Orange flower. Oh, that smells divine. Again, it's a Neil's Yard one. The writing will all be reversed, unfortunately. So, hyd oh, it's hydrating rose. I beg your pardon. Rehydrating rose facial polish. Oh, oh, it's lovely. Really nice. So, during the winter, you don't want to use a facial polish too often because your skin is already struggling to keep a protective layer over it with uh, with with winter and just being harsh cold conditions outside. In the summertime it's a bit of a different story because we're perspiring more or if you're menopausal like me you're perspiring most of the time. Um, so you don't want to strip your skin too much of a protective barrier but I would, you know, in the summertime, I probably exfoliate my face twice a week. Uh, whereas in winter, autumn, winter, I, I change it up, uh, use a much richer moisturiser or facial oil and um, maybe exfoliate once a week or just when I feel I need it. And again, just getting into these congested areas that I feel I have got around my nose. So, oh, this smells luscious. Rehydrating rose. I can hear one client in particular going, oh, <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Mind you, her skin's beautiful. She doesn't need a, she doesn't need a, a, a facial polish, I don't think. Anyway, um, let's take that off with my sponge as well. I hope that uh, you're all as well as can be expected under the circumstances. It's a bit of a strange day today. I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm feeling a bit flat. Um, like many people, just sometimes mentally struggling with the amount of news that happens. Um, some good news and then some not so good news. So I'm making this on Tuesday the 10th and in a couple of hours time there's going to be announcements about whether we are about to move into different tiers in Scotland. And what that means is, if we go into tier four, I just basically have to go home again. I heard somebody on the radio earlier on discussing it. I won't say what radio station it is, because that's not fair, but a lady who was on at lunchtime said, oh, what will it mean if uh, if Scotland goes into, or any areas of Scotland go into tier four? And this other person said, oh, it'll just, it'll just be like March. It'll just mean that all hospitality is closed. And I was like driving in to come here thinking, what? Just hospitality? No, you can say goodbye to hairdressers, waxing, getting your nails done, all close can contact services as well. And that was just a passing comment of, oh, it'll just be like March, all hospitality will be shut. No, all your shopping, Buchanan Street, see ya. <laughs> That's what it would mean. <laughs> so I didn't take that too well when I heard that. Um, anyway, it just, it just reeked of... A little bit more than a you know a passing comment getting made of like oh it'll just be like March oh, oh thanks very much for that anyway mm, see what I mean it's just oh, I'm really sorry anyway let's get on with the facial Ta -da. so that is all my exfoliate oh that's that actually feels a lot softer that's really nice so in my yeah because I can sometimes just feel like 
you know, there's like rough stuff going on around here, particularly around my nose and my forehead, and that just, oh, that feels lush. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I have got a orange flower facial oil, voila. And we're going to get busy with this now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think so. So what you can do with a facial oil is you can use it for a facial massage, but you can also take a couple of drops uh, and pop it in your favourite moisturiser just to give it a bit of a turbo charge. And now this is another trick. Normally, you see people when they take product into their hands, they rub it into their hands and then rub it on their face. And watching Jonathan Van Ness, who is with Queer Eye, and if you haven't watched Queer Eye, it's the feel-good TV we all need right now, along with the Eurovision movie, Ya yeah, Ya yeah, Ding Dong. Anyway, um, oh no, I can't get that song out of my head. Uh, so don't smoosh your product around your hands and then put it on your face because you've, you've, you've put it all around your hands. Just get it, apply, 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 and just go for it. Just get the palm of your hand or wherever you've put your product onto your face as soon as possible and squish it all around there instead of going like this and then slapping it all over your face because you're you're rubbing it all over your hands. So that's me. I've got it all over my face and neck. So I'm going to start with my forehead just because that's what I'm feeling I need today. Um, if I was going to get all Chinese medicine on you and all kind of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? spiritual you could say I would say that this is your third eye and I think that I just need a bit of focus I just need to ground myself a bit more oh and plus it just feels really nice doing that so just get the your tips of your fingers and just change direction and go round and round in circles there um loads of muscles in your forehead muscles that frown your eyebrows to protect you if you're in bright, bright sunlight for example uh, muscles that lift up your eyebrows and also there is a muscles here that give you that number 11 shape that we really don't want so you can get all that in the middle as well two fingers one pushes one way and one pushes the other and then you swap okay so it's just like that just like this yeah and then just get that right between the eyebrows that guy's still singing outside marvelous so you can do that and then just come over your eyebrows and again just using this kind of motion with your fingertips that feels really nice in my massage practice uh, oh look at that you can really see the blood flows, flows coming up to the skin which is what I want uh, in my massage practice there is something called effleurage effleurage is a movement that is like this it's kind of long gliding movements where you're kind of like it's almost like you 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 it's almost like you visualize making bread out of the muscles and you're really really getting the muscle to move and making some shapes with it and um, i've started dialing in on that a lot more in my practice particularly with legs and cut look at the size of my cheeks by the way uh, particularly with legs and calf muscles and it just feels luscious to get it done um, so I've really been dialing in on a lot of that there. So that's what I'm doing here. You would call this effleurage. Okay, now there's a big difference between pulling the skin and actually getting into the muscle. So you can see that. That's me pulling my skin. I'm not really affecting anything that much underneath it. And you don't want to do that. Just get dug in. And you can really get under your cheekbones here to give you that lovely apple cheeks kind of look, that feel, doing some lovely sculpting movements with your fingertips. Woohoo! That feels really refreshing. So, still singing outside. <laughs> so, and what you're doing is, you've got a your jaw right so find the moving part of your your face the, the, the only part of your, your 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 head that moves is your jaw that bit there right so you basically want to scoop around with your fingertips i'll come a little bit closer to you so you can see what i'm doing i'm coming right down there and my fingers are like in this they're, they're doing this 
Um, so I'm not I'm not being completely flat. You can see that my fingertips are bending like that. Yeah. Wonderful. That feels really nice. And you can see the blood flow coming up in my face. That's what we want. We want that. So I'm going to spend a couple more minutes doing this. Marvellous. And I can feel that this side of my jaw is quite congested. I'm not sure if I'm clenching my teeth during the night. But you've got the muscles that hold your jaw in place are called pterygoids. Sounds like an exotic plant, doesn't it? And you've got lateral and horizontal pterygoids. Those muscles there. So you can get into that. Now, and then the actual jaw itself, what we do here is like a pinching motion. And you just pinch along the bottom like that. I'm not editing this, I am just going for it. What am I sitting at? About 16 minutes so far. If you're still watching, thank you. <laughs> Pinching along that jawline. And you've got some lymph nodes under here and you've got lymph nodes behind your ear as well. So it's just draining everything right back into there. And what you can do, you probably just saw me there, is like this kind of motion here with your, with your knuckles. You see what I did? Just like this. And just go like along your jaw and that is sculpting up here and then it's also massaging the lymph nodes underneath your jaw there as well so why do i bang on about lymph nodes lymph nodes help your lymph move around and your lymph is where your lymphatic system lives your immune system lives inside your lymphatic system sorry so anything that you can do to promote the movement of lymphatic fluid around all the nodes and decongesting them is a winner. Just, you know, for any part of your body, the biggest, uh, the biggest areas of lymph nodes gatherings are under your armpits. There's a few here, but under your armpits and in the front of your groin. So that's why if you get ill, you can start to feel those areas ache really badly because it's basically all your lymph nodes going, ah, I feel like crap. And they're working really hard to fight infection. What happens inside, I'll just diverse briefly, uh, you know, go off course it, briefly, is that um, your lymphatic system, if it picks up any infection in your body, something called a phagocyte or phagocytes get launched and they look like Pac-Men and they just basically go around munching up all the bad stuff in your body. It's amazing. So anyway, back to the jaw and our fingertips gliding along here. Woohoo, that feels nice. That's lovely. And then the neck itself, again, using a soft kind of hand, but you, know, you can see the way that my hand is bending and my fingers are bending. Come down your neck and take it down to your collarbone, okay? So you've got your neck muscles, come, there's a group of muscles called your scalenes that come down the side of your neck, under your collarbone, onto your first and second ribs. So any kind of neck and jaw tension can really be, uh, you can really feel it here. So you can do this kind of motion. I prefer a down motion though, it seems a bit easier. Again, you can do that on the other side as well. So, don't prod in here, okay? Leave that to an expert. Uh, you don't want to go prodding around because your muscles on your neck are like a superhero shield. They are protecting some really badass veins and arteries. So don't go sticking you know, if you stick your thumb and your fingers in there yourself, it's going to hurt because you'll find something that just feels icky. But just using a nice sweeping motion coming down your neck there. And then what you can do is you can use the same motion that you used here. You can use that along your collarbone. 
so you can see what I'm doing there and what that's doing is it's also picking in some of my pec muscles as well um, that feels congested so you really be able I'll, I'll probably well I know I'll be able to feel my head turn a lot more easy easier after this so there's a lovely lady called Caroline Hyrons who is a, an amazing skincare guru um, and um, she always talks about taking product right down your neck to your to your chest area so this is a really nice one for guys to do as well so this is not just exclusively for women so I think that will do that feels like I've had a really good double cleanse exfoliated my skin and also moisturized it with some facial oil as well so I feel a lot brighter after that it's just nice to just do something for yourself isn't it all kinds of fabulous so you can see that's kind of like giving me a bit of a rosy glow hasn't it Ta-da! I'm happy with that if you've got any questions get in touch and um, as I say I'm sorry for if I'm, I'm sounding a bit flat today um, it's just the way that a lot of people are at the moment so I'm really trying hard to you know pick myself up and keep my energy going but hopefully you enjoyed that if you've got any feedback for me please do leave some in the in, in the comment section uh, and just a quick run through that was uh, it's all Neil's Yard products that I've been using today um, so calendula cleanser smells absolutely luscious um, rehydrating rose facial polish um, facial polish is opposed to a facial scrub so it's a lot finer texture and then I used a lovely uh, orange flower uh, facial oil as well. So that feels so much better. My skin was feeling really tight and dry earlier when I came in. And uh, now it, uh, it, it smells and feels lush. So have a wonderful Tuesday, uh, whatever you're getting up to. And uh, I'll see you again soon. I'm going to creep in and press the stop button now. Bye.